Ministers had no serious intention of leaving a nationalized shipyard in private ownership despite being warned it would be subject to EU state aid laws, according to former managers. They accuse ministers of forcing it into administration by rejecting a plan that would have avoided any state aid claim, saved the taxpayer at least £120 million and prevented the costs of building two key ferries soaring to over £300 million. The development comes after the Herald on Sunday revealed the government had faced questions about failing to notify the EU about nationalizing Ferguson Marine Engineering Limited, FMEL after being found to have given £50 million of illegal state aid to two airports. Illegal state aid was found to have been given to Sumbra Airport on Shetland and Inverness Airport after both received taxpayer support that had not been approved by the European Commission. The EU has previously confirmed it was not notified of the state takeover on the issuing of two commercial loans to FML in Port Glasgow totaling £45 million before the yard fell into administration and then public ownership. It has now been revealed that a matter of days before FML fell into administration, its council, in an analysis forwarded to ministers, warned that nationalization would still be subject to state aid law. It said, nationalization is not a mechanism for circumventing, EU, state aid rules, which apply equally to both privately and publicly owned undertakings. The intent of EU state aid rules is to avoid financial assistance given by a government that favors a certain company or commercial group and has the potential to distort market competition. The Scottish government has insisted that no state aid has been given to FML either through loans or business acquisition. The Scottish government began the process of taking control of the last civilian shipyard on the Clyde in August as it went under because of the soaring costs of a contract with Caledonian Maritime Assets Limited, CMAL the taxpayer-funded company which owns ferries and other infrastructure used by publicly owned operator Calmac. A £97 million project for two ferries is now costing nearly £230 million with no sign yet that either will available to passengers in the near future. Now in a new analysis of what happened, the former management of the yard have demanded that ministers publish the full cost to the public of nationalisation saying, the figure must be fully scrutinised. They say that ministers declined a restructuring solution that does not involve the presence of state aid that would have seen the vessels completed for far less than they now cost. In March last year, FML said the cost of building the ferries had soared from £97 million to over £195 million. Now the former management believe that that has now soared to over £300 million. They claim a conservative estimate. For more on this story, visit the news article link.